Hello, pessoal. Welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I pray that you guys are doing well. I want to share a really quick word with you guys. I'm not going to take up uh, much of um, anyone's time today, but I want to share a bait that Satan has been throwing. And I pray to God that you will not catch this bait. And it is when he makes you dream of an ex, right? And in this dream, the ex is suffering. In this dream, the ex is going through a lot. But I want to share with you guys that God has revealed to me that this is a tactic, that this is a bait that Satan is using to keep you bound from where God has and wants to deliver you from. God will not, you know, send you back to a place or send you back to do something that while you were there, you were damaged while you were there, you were broken while you were there, you were hurt. When God tells you to leave, he tells you to leave. When God tells you go, he tells you to go. He will not send you back unless you are equipped to go back. If you are not equipped to go back, if you have not received the word of God to connect to that person, then do not fall for the bait of Satan. Satan gives you dreams where you see that this person is suffering, where you see that this person is broken, where you see that this person is devastated. I have had dreams where I saw a specific person, you know, being attacked by demons. I saw these the, the, this person's relatives being inflicted with sicknesses and diseases. And I thought I was the one that God was calling for me to be, for me to help this person no god i thought that god was was equipping me and leading me to bring this person to christ for this person to be saved but the enemy used that as a bait to keep me distracted from what i was supposed to do to keep me distracted from me healing to keep me distracted from me actually picking up an assignment that was of god the enemy wants you to pick an assignment that isn't your assignment. The enemy wants you to pick an assignment that isn't your assignment. And when I get dreams about exes, if I feel led to pray, I will pray. But if I don't, I don't. And if I feel that when I start praying, other feelings are coming up. When I feel that when I start praying, my mind is starting to wander a little bit more. What I say is, Lord, rise up someone that can intercede for this person. Bring someone in this person's path so that your will for this person's life can be done. Because I understand because I know that if God wants me to heal, if God has called me to come out of this situation, if God has told me to come out of this place, he will not send me back unless I am fully equipped. He will not want me to sacrifice myself unless I am okay. The word of God says that we need to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So that for me means and signifies that before I can love, before I can help, I need to receive the love. I need to receive the help that I need to get from God. And once I have been equipped, once I have received it, once I am whole, now I can go and save someone. Now I can go and help someone. And they are just situations, just like how God told Abraham, leave your parents, leave your country and go. God did not tell him to go back. Abraham was growing in his knowledge of God. Abraham was growing and knowing the love of God. Of course, he thought about his relative. Of course, of course, he thought, if I go back and share the word with them, they will get to know God too. But what was the word? God had never said to him, Abraham, go back. Abraham, go and preach salvation. Abraham, go and preach or give what I am giving you to them. The instruction was for him to leave and he left. If God has given you an instruction for you to leave, then you leave. If God has told you, do not connect, then do not connect. Only pray when God tells you to pray. So when you get these dreams, say, God, is this of you? 
And if you are not sure, analyze yourself. How am I? Am I healed? Am I whole? If I connect in any other way with this person, will it take me off of the path that God has put me in? And I know it gets a little bit hard for intercessors because we carry the burden of interceding for other people. When we dream of someone, when we pick up something, we know that our instinct is for us to pray. But this reminds me of what was done to Eve in the garden. A gift that was so precious, a gift that was so beautiful, that was given to Eve and Adam in that garden. The enemy found a way of using that very thing that God had given them for the glory of God, for them to be well against them. And they opened a door for sin to enter this world. So the enemy knows that you are an intercessor. The enemy knows that you were called to be a prophet. The enemy knows that there are power in your words when you speak, when you pray. So he will bring your ex disguised in a dream, in a thought, so that you can connect with them. Whether it be physically, whether it be emotionally, or whether it be spiritually. I always say the most dangerous one is spiritually. I always say that I try not to connect with people in a spiritual level because I know the soul tie is stronger. I know that a spiritual soul tie is so much stronger. So the enemy knows him giving you these dreams. The enemy knows him, him bringing you these thoughts. You are going to drop the assignment that you have. You are not going to be focused on what God actually wants you to do. Now you are out here praying. Now you are out here interceding. Picking up an assignment that is not for you. So it is okay for you to release it to God. It is okay for you to say God, to say to God, God, rise up someone for this person. God knows the condition of your heart. God knows that you are in a healing process. I heard a woman of God say, God will not lead your heart or your mind to something where he has taken your body out of. He will not lead your spirit to some place where he has taken your body, your mind, and your emotions, your heart out of. Because when God calls you, he wants you whole. And if it's for him to lead you somewhere, he is leading you to that place whole. He is leading you to that place complete. Some of you guys keep dreaming about exes and these dreams are so strong. These dreams are so, feel so real to you that this is the reason why you say that you are waiting on a prodigal. This is the reason why you say, I am waiting on this person that was once my partner. I am not saying that that is impossible because I released the word a few days ago, that is possible. There are people that God has said there is a prodigal and there is a prodigal. But there are also people that are holding on to that word, that are holding on to that person when God does not want you connecting to that person. And what God wants you to do, right, is stop praying for that person. Stop interceding for that person. Stop fasting for that person. Give that person to God. Every time you dream about that person, say, Lord, I give this person onto your hand and I ask that you raise up someone to carry this assignment. Because it's not you that is going to do the work. God won't have in his mind that this person can only be saved through you or through me. Because God knows that we have free will. And through our free will, we at times say no. Even though... God wants us to go left. We say, no, we don't want to go left. We are going to go right. God knows that he has given us the choice of free will. So he won't let a person's salvation just depend on one specific person. So if you really want to know whether this person is really your prodigal or not, 
let it go. Let go of the prayer that you're doing for them. Let go of the fasting that you're doing for them. Let go of the interceding. Let go of you waking up at midnight to pray for them. Take a moment and say, Lord, I am giving this person to you. You know how the situation, you know how this process has been afflicting me. I hand it over to you and I pray that you raise up someone to handle this assignment. Raise up someone to pray for them. Raise up someone to intercede for them. And let it go. Disconnect as you are giving it to God. There is no perfect person for you to give it to. God is the creator. He knows everything. So give it to him. Release it onto God. When I have no strength and no energy to pray for myself, I say, Lord, please raise up an intercessor to pray in my favor. Please touch someone's heart for them to pray for me. And I will have people text me. I'll have people email me. Say, Jess, God laid it in my heart for me to pray for you. I'm praying for you. I hope that everything is okay. And I know that God has answered. And sometimes it's not even situations of life and death. Sometimes it's not even about my salvation. So imagine now when it's concerning someone's salvation. When it's concerning someone being saved. Someone getting help. So don't take on an assignment that isn't yours. And if you are unsure if this assignment is for you or not, let it go. Like they say, right? Let it go. And if it comes back, it's because it's meant to be. So let it go and pray to God to raise up someone else to pray for them. I have wasted money. I have wasted time. I have wasted material. On taking up assignments that God did not give me. And this bait, these dreams feel so real that you really take it upon yourself to say that I need to because if I don't, this person is going to die. If I don't, Satan is going to have this person. But now that I am wiser... I see that I had no business. And I see that this person had already decided what they wanted. Even with Christ, they had already decided what they wanted. There was even a, a day where I had a dream. Where a spirit came to me and said, you know what? This person belongs to us. This person is ours. And I woke up and I prayed. And in the dream, I went hard. In the dream, I was interceding. I was rebuking. But the person had already made up their mind. And there was no way that God was going to connect me. Or have that person be my spouse. Because they chose a path that was totally different from God's. But those dreams were strong. I prayed, I fasted, and those dreams were strong. Those dreams made me feel like that was my assignment. And now I look back and I'm like, I have no I had no business. And being honest with you guys, I have gotten to a point in my life that when I dream about something, I give it to God and I let it go. If God isn't confirming, especially when it's concerning me praying, me giving myself spiritually, if God isn't confirming in other ways, I let it go. I let it go. And as I am led throughout the course of the day, as I am led throughout the course of the week, the course of the month, the course of the year, and there are other confirmation, then I dedicate myself to that. And then I give myself to that. And that's because it is important 
to guard our heart. It is important to guard our heart. Because we know that it's from the heart that flows everything concerning life. So we need to guard our heart. We need to protect our heart. And especially when it comes to dreams concerning exes. Break that soul tie. And if that soul tie has been broken and this dream keeps persisting, give it to God. God knows what to do with it. I just want to say, do not pick an assignment that is not for you. I know that sometimes, you know, they say, don't date the assignment. But today I'm saying, don't pick up an assignment that is not for you. Don't pick back up an assignment that God has released you from. Because maybe God did give you that assignment, but that person has already made up their mind. That person has free will and with their free will, they chose to choose what it is that they wanted to choose. So don't go back picking up an assignment that the Lord has released you from. And I just pray that in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, that the Lord increases your discernment in this time. That through these dreams, you are able to pick up. You are able to discern, even in the dream, what is of him and what isn't. That he gives you the strength for you to let go. That he gives you the courage for you to let go and not look back. The same way that Abraham kept it moving. The same way that Abraham did not return. May you not return if that is not what God has for you. May you keep going forward. The same way that Abraham kept going forward. The same way that Abraham trusted the promise of God. And received every blessing that was meant for him. May this too be your portion. May you not look back. May you not go back. May you not pick up an assignment that is not for you. It wasn't Abraham's assignment to save the family that he had left back at home. It wasn't his assignment. He kept following the path that God had for him. So may you keep following the path that God has for you. And I pray that God gives you strength, that his might and his courage comes over you. And that you are able to proceed in what God has called you to do. And may you be set free from whatever is keeping you bound. May you be able to come out of the captivity that your dreams have been keeping you in. May they be the release of God and may you be set free in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I believe. Amen and amen. Um beijo pessoal and I will, I will speak to you guys, see you guys soon. Beijo. Bye bye.